Hey friends, this is Sudhanshu and I am back with 90 days to cat series. First off, a very happy Diwali to all of you. And let's now talk about something which is very, very important for all of you for the upcoming cat exam, which is permutations and combinations. In this video, we'll cover everything that is required for PNC from cat standpoint. We'll understand everything, including combination, principle of addition and multiplication. We'll see arrangement. We'll also cover dictionary problem. We'll do permutations. We'll do distributions and all the cases identical to identical, identical to distinct, distinct to identical and distinct to distinct. We'll also cover derangement and circular permutation. We've also done one video on PNC distribution in particular. You can check that out as well on YouTube. Let's see, starting with combination, let's go very, very simply and understand in a very basic manner. If I have to select R objects out of N objects, it is defined as NCR. What is NCR? NCR is N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial. I am pretty sure you all know what factorials are. For example, a number 5 factorial will be multiplication of all the numbers from 5 to 1. So NCR is N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial. For example, let's say if I have five friends, I want to invite two of them to a party. Then the number of ways will be 5C2, which can be calculated as 5 factorial upon 2 factorial into 5 minus 2, which is 3 factorial. 5 factorial will become 120, 2 factorial will become 2 and 3 factorial will become 6. So number of ways is 10. There is another simpler way of calculating this. For example, if I have to calculate 5C2, all I have to do is write this number into in decreasing order. So write 2 in decreasing order becomes 2 into 1. Then you write this number also in decreasing order. So here you will write 5 into 4. So here you have two numbers. Here also you will have two numbers. So now what's the answer here? The answer here is 10. I hope this is clear to you. So similarly, you can calculate any number. Let's have a look at this question. If you have shortlisted nine top rated characters from Avengers and want to make a movie by taking only three of them, in how many ways can you do this? So you have to select three out of nine. So that will become nine C three. How can I solve this? Here you have three right in a decreasing order. Three into two into one. You have three numbers in the denominator. So you will have three numbers in the numerator also. So write 9 also in decreasing order, 9 into 8 into 7, this becomes 3, this becomes 4, so the answer is 84. Moving forward, very very important from PNC standpoint, principle of addition and multiplication. Let's say there are two events, E1 and E2. E1 happens in M ways, E2 happens in N ways. If the scenario is E1 or E2, then you will take M plus N ways. And if the scenario is E1 and E2, in that case, you will take M into N ways. I hope this is clear to you. Let's apply this in a question to understand it a little better. If you have nine top rated Avenger superhero characters and 10 low rated characters, so nine top rated characters and 10 low rated characters. In how many ways can you cast them in a new Avenger movie? If you have two top rated, three low rated. So one case you have or another case you have and. So from nine top rated, you select two top rated nine C two. From 10 low rated, you will select three low rated. So 10 C three. What is nine C two? That is nine into eight upon two into one. Just like we did in the last slide. 10 into nine into eight, three into two into one. So this becomes three times. This becomes four times, right? So this is 120 this becomes 36. So if an or scenario, then you will add the possibilities, right? So this becomes 156. In the second case, there is an and scenario. Whenever you will have an and scenario, you will multiply the cases. So this will become 36 into 120. How can I calculate this? 3 into 12 into 12 into 10. 12 into 12 is 144 into 3 is 432 into 10 is 4320. Moving forward, let's talk about arrangement. If I have, let's say, n things to arrange, then the number of arrangement very simply will be n factorial. For example, let's say if I have three desks, 
and I have let's say three friends. I want to make them sit here. The number of ways will be three factorial. Very simply. Let's take a few examples. How many words can be formed with the letters of the word Avengers? So what are the letters here? If you will see, so the letters that are involved here will be A, V, E, N, G, R, and S. Now there are two cases. First case is I if I can use the letter E only once. or if i can use it as many times as it is given in the question if this is the first case if i can use every letter only once then the number of ways will be there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven letters number of arrangement will be 7 factorial if i have this letter repeating always remember so how many how many letters do i have so i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so 8 factorial but these two letters are the same okay and their arrangement is not going to make a new case or a new possibility hence i must divide this total with 2 factorial which is the number of ways in which these two can arrange amongst themselves so 8 factorial upon 2 factorial will be the answer if i am using a repetition here how many words can be formed with the letters of the word marvel if vowels have to come together now what are the vowels here a e these are the vowels and then we have consonants m r v and l so how will the vowels come together very very simple put them in a box as soon as you put them in a box they behave like one unit so this is one unit this is second unit third unit fourth unit fifth unit so total there are five units these five units can arrange amongst themselves in five factorial ways these letters a and e they can't come out of the box but within the box they can arrange amongst themselves in two factorial ways so the answer to this question is 5 factorial into 2 factorial i hope this is again clear to you talking about another very interesting question which a lot of people get confused in is a dictionary ranking problem let's take the letter of the word marvel if only these letters are coming uh, you know in a dictionary and all of them should come in a word then how many ways can i do it first let's arrange them alphabetically because that is how they will come in the dictionary so arranging them i'll have a then i'll have e then i'll have l m r and v right now starting with a i have five letters to follow so therefore five factorial once you fixed a okay you fixed a so you have five letters 1 2 3 4 5 Five letters can am arrange amongst themselves in five factorial ways. So therefore, one twenty words starting with A. Similarly, starting with E, there'll be one twenty words. Similarly, starting with L, there'll be one twenty words. So as soon as I get, you know, the first letter M, I'll freeze it. What will be the next letter? Alphabetically, the next letter is also A. And I want also in my the word that I'm trying to find, I have A here. So I, as soon as I get a letter, I freeze it. so i have free, i have frozen m here a here now i have four spots what will come first here i'll have e here as soon as i put e here there are three places these three letters can arrange amongst themselves in three factorial ways so six ways next what will come here as soon as e goes see m has been frozen a has been frozen then i have used e here already next l will come and similarly with l also there will be three factorial six more words next what will happen next r will come right as soon as r comes i will freeze r also why because in the in the word that i am trying to find r is there then next again e will come and then i will have two letters free which can arrange in two factorial ways after e l will come for l also again i'll have two factorial so once e and l have already come r has been frozen next will be v as soon as v comes the next letters are going to be e and l because they are in order they are in alphabetical order so that's the last word so how many words 360 plus you have 12 here plus you have 4 here plus you have 1 here so this becomes 17 so this becomes 377 talking about permutation see permutation also is arrangement but permutation also includes selection plus arrangement for example let's say if i have five friends 
if I want to select three out of them and I want to make them sit at three positions, one, two and three. How many ways can I do this? First step here is to select three out of five. That is five C3. As soon as I've selected three people out of the five, I can arrange them, you know, in these three positions. So that will be three factorial. 5C3 into 3 factorial, that's exactly the same as 5P3. So NPR is nothing but NCR into R factorial. Let's solve a few questions. Assigning characters for Mafia. Mafia is a very interesting game that many of you will play as soon as you get into the B school. In one of the games, Sudhanshu is playing as God and is assigning characters to Ratna, Anik, Dev, Mukul, Kaushal. There is one Mafia. So there are characters of the game, there is Mafia, there is a suicide bomber, there is one silencer and there are two villagers in this game. So how many people? There are five characters total and there are five people also. There are five people, there are five characters. All these five people can be distributed to these five characters in five factorial ways. However, these two positions are exactly the same. These two characters are exactly the same. Hence, you know, the repetition must be avoided or the repetition must be divided with so that that arrangement can be taken care of. So 5 factorial upon 2 factorial, that's the answer to the first question. Let's see a follow up question also. In the next game, 5 more people joined in. Animesh, Rawat, Anadi, Naveen and Amit. So there were 5 people already, now 5 more. So there are 10 people now. The game however can accommodate just 2 more mafia and 1 more villager, right? So two more mafia, which means now the number of mafias in the game will be three. One more villager. So one suicide bomber is intact. One silencer is intact. One more villager. So three villagers here. Total eight characters are there and 10 people are there. So obviously eight people can play. So select eight people first. 10 C8. Now you do the assignment. These eight people can arrange in these eight positions in eight factorial ways. However, these mafia positions are exactly alike. And hence, we must divide it by 3 factorial because of repetition. Similarly, these three villagers are also identical. So must divide it by 3 factorial again. Question is, what is the increase in number of ways? Solve this and you take a difference with this. Also, remember, in a PNC question, don't solve it completely. Sometimes in the answer options, you will see the answers in this form only. Okay. So if you will solve it, you may waste a little time. Talking about one very, very important aspect from distribution, a lot of people, you know, get confused here, which is distribution. Let's take the first case, which is identical to identical, right? Let's say you have nine identical toys and three identical boxes or systems. So the only differentiation that you can create, okay, here is the way you split this number nine into integers. So for example, this identical to identical problem is all about splitting this integer into, into three integers, right? That's the only problem that's there. One case can be 900. Remember 900 is same as 090 is same as 009. Why? Because these three are identical boxes. Does not matter. You put it in the second box or third box, first box, second box, third box, everything is just the same, right? So there is no first, second, third year. So 900, then you have 810, then you have 720, you'll have 711, you'll have 630, you can have 621 also, then you can have 540, you can have 531 also, you can have 522 also, you can have 441 also, you can have 432 also, you can have 333 also. So how many cases? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So the answer to this question is 12. I hope identical to identical is clear. Identical to identical is all about splitting the given number into integers and counting the number of cases. Identical to distinct. For example, let's say 9 identical toys to be given to 3 kids. And we've also done a video on this. If you've seen that, you can see that video because we've dealt with this case in a greater detail. So here all you have to do is if you have n identical toys r kids so n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 that becomes 9 plus 3 minus 1 which is 11 c 3 minus 1 which is 2 so 11 
अपॉन टू इंटू टेन दैट इज फिफ्टी फाइव डिस्टिंग टू आइडेंटिकल अगेन वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई हैव टू आइडेंटिकल बॉक्सेस अगेन वॉट आई हैव टू डू दिस इज अगेन सिमिलर टू आइडेंटिकल टू आइडेंटिकल द ओनली थिंग इज बिकॉज दीज आर डिस्टिंक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स देर विल बी सिलेक्शन इन्वॉल्व एन सी आर दिस इज सिलेक्शन ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट टू डिस्टिंक्ट सिलेक्शन ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स फ्रॉम डिस्टिंक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो यू हैव सेवन डिस्टिंक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन टू आइडेंटिकल बॉक्सेस हाउ कैन यू स्प्लिट इट स्प्लिट इट एज सेवन एंड जीरो यू कैन स्प्लिट इट एज सिक्स एंड वन फाइव एंड टू फोर एंड थ्री थ्री एंड फोर राइट एंड देन यू हैव टू एंड फाइव यू विल हैव वन एंड सिक्स यू विल हैव जीरो एंड सेवन हाउ मेनी वेज कैन यू डू दिस ऑब्वियसली वन वे ऑल द सेवन ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन टू वन आइडेंटिकल बॉक्स और इन टू वन बॉक्स हियर यू हैव टू सेपरेट वन एलिमेंट आउट यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट वन एलिमेंट एंड लीव द सिक्स रिमेनिंग और द अदर वे अराउंड सो यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट वन आउट ऑफ सेवन सो सेवन सी वन Here you have to select two out of seven, so seven C two, or you select five out of seven, which is same, because you know N C R is equal to N C N minus R. So seven C two is same as seven C five. Similarly, here it will be seven C three. Here it will be seven C four, seven C five, seven C six, and seven C seven. See N C zero plus N C one plus N C two going on till N C N is two to the power n, right? Now, so this becomes two to the power seven. But remember one thing: seven comma zero and zero comma seven. These are only one case. There is these are not two cases. Why? Because here we have identical boxes. So here the cases are being repeated. So you divide two to the power seven by two becomes two to the power six. There is one more case: no box remains empty, which means seven comma zero case is not valid. So you'll have to remove this one case again. So two to the power six. Minus one. So the answer is sixty-three for this question. I hope this is clear to you. Very beautiful question. Let's see one more question like this, so that our concept is further clarified. I hope you're all enjoying this. I hope you'll all practice this. All right. So in how many ways seven distinct toys can be put in three identical boxes? Like we did in the first question, we have to split this number first and see what are the possibilities. First is seven zero zero, right? That's the first way you can do it. What? How? How can you split it? So six one zero. That's also a possibility. You can also do it like a five two zero. You can also do it like a five one one. You can split it like a four three and zero. You can also split it like a four two one. Then you can also split it like a three three one. uh what also is possible is 3 2 2 right now 7 0 0 number of ways here will be only one because all the seven you know toys distinct toys but all the seven toys are to be put in one identical box so no selection has to be made therefore only one way now here i have to separate one toy out of the seven into a, into another box right the boxes are identical So here I will have to do a seven C one. Here I have to separate two out of the seven toys. So se this becomes seven C two. This here I have to separate one and one. So first let's say select one, and then let's say select one more. So seven C one. After that I'll have six remaining. So six C one. These two are identical boxes with exact same number of toys. Therefore the number of ways must be divided by two two factorial. to take care of the repetition here right so that's you know this is the number of arrangements here again 4 and 3 so i have to separate 3 out that becomes 7c3 here i have 2 and 1 so i have to select 7c2 into 5c1 again here i'll have to select 7c3 you selected then you have 4 left you select 1 4c1 you could select 4c3 also 4c1 is equal to 4c3 right Here I have to select seven C two, and then what is remaining? Five C two. In this case also, since three and three are repeating here, therefore you have to divide it by two factorial. Here also, divided by two factorial, since two and two are repeating here. So how many cases? Seven C zero is one. Seven C one is equal to seven. Seven C two is equal to twenty one. Seven C one into six C one. Forty two divided by two. This one is. Again, twenty-one. 
7c3 is 35 then we have 7c2 into 5c1 so 7c2 into 5c1 7c2 is again 21 into 5c1 is 5 so this becomes 105 here we have 7c3 which is 35 into 4 which is 140 divided by 2 so this is 70 and here again we have 7c2 into 5c2 7c2 is 21 into 5c2 is 10 divided by 2 this is 105 so what's the number of so total number of ways will be 105 plus 105 that's 210 plus 70 is 280 21 plus 21 is 42 plus 7 is 49 plus 1 is 50 plus 35 is 85 so total number of ways becomes 365 here I hope this is clear to you now we have a condition empty box is allowed so in this case you've seen we have taken empty boxes also right so all the cases have been counted so the answer to the first question is 365 second case is empty box not allowed so you don't count the ones containing zeros so this is not allowed this is also not allowed this is also not allowed right this is also not allowed this will be 365 minus 64 becoming 361 so i hope this is also clear to you now finally moving forward to distinct to distinct cases number of ways in which five letters can be put into three post boxes at different locations see first letter can go into any of the three post boxes in three ways second letter can also go into any of the three post boxes in three ways third letter can also go in three ways fourth can also go in three ways fifth can also go in three ways so three to the power five here you have n here you have r becomes r to the power n and there is there is one more exception here n distinct to r distinct when one distinct can take as many n second case can be when when this element can take only one of this element for example if i have to now post let's say five letters into three envelopes then what will happen now one envelope can only take one letter in that scenario what will happen you know that you can only post three letters out of the five letters so first select those five c3 and now these three letters can be placed in these three envelopes in three factorial ways obviously considering here three envelopes as distinct we have covered the distribution bit entirely let's move forward talking about derangement if you arrange a pair in such that you know the elements are not going with the right pair for example let's say you have to arrange a prom couple from three boys and three girls so that no boy goes with his respective girlfriend what will happen that is given as derangement of three elements which is given by the formula 3 factorial 1 by 0 factorial minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial goes on till this number okay so derangement of 3 must go on till 3 here so this becomes 3 factorial now first and second term cancel out 1 by 2 factorial is 1 by 2 1 by 3 factorial is 1 by 6 so now this is 6 into you take 2 common 1 minus 1 by 3 so 2 by 3 so what is the derangement here derangement is 2 you can also understand it without formula let's see for example let's say there are 3 boys b1 b2 b3 and the respective girlfriends are g1 g2 and g3 let's say the first guy you know does not go with his girlfriend particularly so can go with g2 or g3 so there are two possibilities let's say b1 goes with g2 then b2 must go with g3 and b3 must go with g1 so if you see b1 had two possibilities b2 must now go with g3 otherwise b3 will have to go with g3 and derangement will not be satisfied so b2 has one way only one and b3 also has only one possibility so the number of possibilities will be 2 into 1 into 1 that is equal to 2 in how many ways can 7 people go home in the 7 cars they have such that exactly 3 go in their exact own cars for example let's say 7 out of 3 go in the right cars so let's select 3 people first that will be 7c3 the remaining 4 people will go into different cars right so there are 4 people left 
and four cars left none of these people go into the right cars so therefore that will be derangement of four so 7c3 into derangement of four so derangement of four is given as four factorial into 1 upon 0 factorial minus 1 upon 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial right these will cancel out 4 factorial is 24 1 by 2 factorial is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 24 so you have 24 here what we can do is you can take an LCM of 24 here so 2 12 times 6 here I have 4 times and 1 times so 13 minus 4 is 9 this cancels out so derangement of 4 is equal to 9 so this is 35 into 9 so the answer to this question is 315 I hope again this is also clear so another important topic derangement is out of our way finally circular permutation a very very simple topic let's understand let's let's see I have a circle okay and I have four spots here let's say I take four of my friends to this circle okay and I have to arrange these four people in this circle what I'll have to do is I'll have to send one of them to create a reference so let's say I send first of my friend to go sit at any of these places so let's say my you know friends are ABCD first guy sits at one place now a reference has been created now I can ask this guy to take a seat you know with reference to A for example to the left of A or to the right of A to in the front of A otherwise there were no references before right so since one guy has gone into creating a reference number of ways of arrangement here will always become n minus 1 factorial in this case it will be 3 factorial in a scenario where the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are the same in that case it will become n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 for example let's say so red bead you have you have a blue bead here you have a blue bead here and you have a let's say a pink bead here so if you go clockwise you have red blue pink blue if you go anti-clockwise you have red blue pink blue in this case your clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are the same hence the number of arrangements in this case will become n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 with that we come to the end of our discussion i hope you will solve a lot of questions wish you all a very happy diwali take care god bless you all